Fresh off the boat, eh? <laughs> High Isle is a good place for an adventurer to earn some gold, provided you have the right connections. The name's Jakarn. My patron needs someone like you. An unknown, so to speak. It'd be worth your time to befriend her. Lady Arabelle DeVoe. Maybe you've heard of her. She's a famous investigator and author. Diplomat, too. Which is why she's here. She runs in circles way above my station. <laughs> but I owe her a debt that I'm trying to pay. Maybe you can help me do that. A fair bit of gold, most likely. Lady Arabelle works for one of the richest nobles in all Tamriel, Lord Baccaro Valoris. He's sponsoring an important conference here on the island. But there's a problem. Trust me, the payday will be worth it. Lady Arabelle will appreciate an outsider's perspective. She's at the Gonfalon Bay docks with Lord Baccaro, if you want to introduce yourself. The problem I mentioned? It involves some missing ships. Anyway, tell her Jakarn sent you. I'm her favorite. Long story. It involves multiple maidens, a few princes, and one charming rogue who stole all their hearts. Then the authorities got involved. Fortunately, Lady Arabelle agreed to take responsibility for my good behavior. Now I owe her. Right, let's go and get our companion and then we'll be on the start of a new uh, journey of building a Templar. Guy Shard, we're on the way. Oh, 
Can we swim across? Hmm. We've also got to choose a mount, haven't we, for this one? Um, what should we have? Um. Well, I'll think of that in a minute. Let's do this quest first. You don't mind me saying so, but you look like someone who's good at cleaning up messes. I was experimenting with a spell while my mentor, Magister Iren, was away, but the magic went awry. If it doesn't get dealt with, it's going to spread beyond this area and harm up. I need to do the hold still. Mostly they serve to keep errant magic inside Tordriak's boundaries. You know, the standard three points of protection thing. Unfortunately, my spell kicked those wards in the teeth. They're not protected. The spell I created has my magical mark on it, if that makes sense. There are certain types of magic that can be affected by their creator, intentionally or not. Messing with forces already attuned to you can have unpredictable results. Exactly. Magic is powerful and great and all that, but it can be pretty sensitive. Fussy, Magister Irin likes to say. And since my spell is already wreaking havoc across Tordreok, I'd rather not take any unnecessary risks while fixing it. The name's Ember. Well, technically it's a nickname, but it's all I use. I'm Magister Irin's apprentice. I think he regrets taking me on sometimes, but he's got a big heart. He saw that I had no formal training, and told me to come here to learn. This is Tordreok. There's a big wizard's tower, you can't miss it. I've been living there with Magister Irin, plus a few people who keep up the grounds and the tower itself. All of whom have been affected by my spell, I'd guess. The spell I created has my magical mark on it, if that makes sense. There are certain types of magic that can be affected by their creator, intentionally or not. Messing with forces already attuned to you can have unpredictable results. Exactly. Magic is powerful and great and all that, but it can be pretty sensitive. Fussy, Magister Irin likes to say. And since my spell is already wreaking havoc across Tordreok, I'd rather not take any unnecessary risks while fixing it. All you have to do is place those crystals I gave you on the three protective wards. It'll be easy, I promise. Mostly trying to keep anything with ill intent away from you. My errant spell seems to be affecting the creatures around Tordreok in all kinds of ways. Things that were once docile might be a little, um... Grumpy, right now. The spell I created has my magical mark on it, if that makes sense. There are certain types of magic that can be affected by their creator, intentionally or not. Messing with forces already attuned to you can have unpredictable results. Exactly. Magic is powerful and great and all that, but it can be pretty sensitive. Fussy, Magister Irin likes to say. And since my spell is already wreaking havoc across Tordreok, I'd rather not take any unnecessary risks while fixing it.
All right, so we've got to <coughs> do this, and then uh, we'll do a few other bits and pieces. Um, we need <coughs> we need to do this one first. <coughs> so we're going to start this new character. <coughs> and uh, sorry about that, I've got a bit of a dry throat all of a sudden. And. Uh, we will uh, hopefully uh, level this up within within a week, like we tend to do. Um, but this is saying I wanted to I wanted to build one of these. Um, see how it goes. I'm not sure sort of how it'll go, but we we'll we'll have to we'll just see. Right, so we are all good. All good. Ready to go. So just uh, let a few people know that I've gone live. Hopefully we can uh, get a few uh, people coming in. I will one day get to affiliation, but at the moment it's uh, it's a bit on the hard side because uh, don't really get many in the stream. So we we'll see how things go. Right. I think I think I need something like um, three, four um, to be in the stream uh, chatting. To get to a certain point. Very good at this character at the moment. I'll get my finger to go on what it should be doing. My finger doesn't seem to want to move much tonight. At least I can take the plaster off tomorrow. The first protection. So hopefully we can. Uh, Here we are. I have a bit more movement. Go. That's one ward restored. Let's go fix the next one. It's in the glade just west of. I really should have paid more attention to Magister Eren when he was explaining how these protective wards work. I should have paid more attention to him in general, actually. The next one is in the glade. It's just across the way to the west. Unfortunately, no. The wards are just to keep the unstable magic inside the bounds of Tordrea. Magister Eren made sure I knew what they were and what purpose they served as soon as he took me on as an apprentice. He wanted me to be familiar with as much as Tordrea as possible. Or at least the parts that keep it safe. Not uh, that good when you have a wick on your finger that uh, causes an issue. Your finger and half of your hand swells up. But... I 
antibiotics are helping, so... That's a good sign. I've definitely seen an improvement since I've been ta taking the antibiotic, so um, the antibiotics are taking the swelling down quite a quite a, a bit. I haven't finished the antibiotics yet, but uh, gave me quite a few a week supply of something for it, but yeah, we're getting there. We're uh, slowly taking them and the swelling's going down, which is good. Um, so my finger will be back to normal. So it's just, uh, just awkward because the sort of thing that how they wrapped it awkward to actually do thing do, do much with um you got to keep it dry for uh, three days the the stuff they've put on inside and the uh, they've put like a like a tubey grip on your on the finger um but instead of it being sort of like one thickness or two thicknesses it's like four thicknesses um So it you ain't got much movement, if you know what I mean. It's uh yeah, you certainly You certainly haven't got much uh movement in your finger to to bend it or anything and trying to play on the xbox um it's a bit hard but thank goodness that uh it can come off tomorrow but if it's not looking any good then i've got i can go back to the hospital and get it re redone so i said that i would look at it See what, what it looks like. That's all the wards. Let's talk outside. I need to figure out what to do next. So for the last three days I've had this thing on and it's... Yeah, it's, it's, it's starting to really sort of bug me now. The trouble is it's the finger right next to the thumb. Um... <laughs> When you're right-handed as well, it's even worse. Hanging around um, I think they're drawn to places like this, but there was nothing in my spell that should have made them act malevolent. And there are a lot more around than usual. Yes, I can make traps to contain them, but see if you can find anything in the. The um. It, I mean, because it, it's on the on the finger next to the thumb, it's and it's your right hand. Because you do everything this with that ridiculous. one hand. I knew Magister Erin should never have taken in a mangy cat like you. Relax, Holdressa. I'm working on it. You better work fast. It's so Magister awkward. What the? Oh. You know. <laughs> All right. That was a little funny. It's so awkward to do anything with. Um, I really want to take it off now, but <sighs> it protects it. So it keeps it, you know, clean and dry and um, 
makes it easier when I'm when you're sleeping. But yeah, I will admit it is a bit. It is a bit annoying that it's it's there, but we need we need to. We need to let it heal, so... You in here? Did you find anything useful about the moats? I finished the traps. Once we set them up, they should take care of the moats. Then I can <laughs> sort out the livestock and hold Dressa. And that's Oh, I read that one with the wind sorrow lady, right? Oh, what if my spell disturbed her and that's why the moats are acting up? That's troubling and also a problem for future Ember. Let's focus on one thing at a time. Or two things, actually. The traps are finished, but the livestock and Hildressa are still a problem. I want to figure out a way to return them all to their natural forms before the illusion does any damage. Could you set the traps while I do that? Here, I'll mark some places to set the traps. They're in the pack by the work tables outside. While you do that, I'll figure out how to fix the livestock and Hildressa. Then I can work on my counter spell. Meet me by the livestock pens when you're done. Good luck setting up the traps. I'll meet you by the light.
All right, let's get you two back to your regular ticket cell. Ha! I knew it would work! Run along, lady. You're back! The traps worked, didn't they? See? I told you I know what I'm doing. Mostly. Speaking of which, I think I figured out a way to return the livestock to their original forms. I made something. I know it looks like a spoon, but... Well, technically it is a spoon, but I enchanted it. And I call it the Spoon of Undo. I just tested it on those chickens. It removes the illusions perfectly. Normally I wouldn't bother, but illusions can be disorienting and cause terrible headaches. I don't want any of the animals suffering while I come up with my counter spell. Oh, and Holdressa. I suppose I don't really want her suffering either. Here, take the Spoon of Undo. If you could run around and fix the livestock and Hildressa, that will give me a chance to finally whip up this counterspell. By the time you're finished, I'm sure I'll have something figured out. Just look around for people making animal noises. I'm sure they won't be hard to find. And tell them I'm sorry when you change them back, would you? As for Hildressa, I'm all in favor of leaving her as a guar. <laughs> Just kidding. Kind of. <laughs> it sounds cute when you say it. It's a pretty simple reversing enchantment. It should counteract the magic from the moats and dispel the illusion. Basic stuff, not even I can mess up. Well, they're still animals. They might run around a bit, but I doubt they'll make it too difficult for you. They're not exactly geniuses. Personally, if I was a sheep and got turned into a human, I think I'd go off on an adventure. I wasn't trying to turn animals into people, I swear. I had a theory about animating the inanimate. One of Magister Irin's texts gave me the idea. Hmm, that's probably why he locks so many of his books away, now that I think about it. Well, I'm hoping to avoid that scenario. But if it does happen, I'm not sure. He's an odd one. I'm too old for him to punish, and he's not really the type to dole out discipline anyway. I think he'd be disappointed, which is so, so much worse. Well, they're still animals. They might run around a bit, but I doubt they'll make it too difficult for you. They're not exactly geniuses. Personally, if I was a sheep and got turned into a human, I think I'd go off on an adventure. I'll be in the tower working on the counter spell. Come find me when you're done.
I just a guar? This is all Ember's fault. I assume Huldressa is back to her charming self? I've run into a problem. I have good news and bad news. The good news? Because if the mirrored way isn't with the rest of his things, it's probably locked away in his arcane library. The library he specifically forbids me from entering. The tome I need has to be in there. Without it, I can't make the counter spell. Magister Irin has warned me not to enter his library a thousand times, but these are special circumstances. There will probably be some magical traps inside meant to keep me out, so I'll need your help getting the book while I deal with them. Once we find the mirrored way in Magister Irin's library, I can finish my counter spell. I just hope the old man wasn't serious about putting something dangerous inside to keep me out. <laughs> not sure. I picked the lock on the place as soon as I figured out he didn't want me getting in there. He's since put up protections and told me to stay out unless I have his permission. I'm sure he's got some kind of ward or barrier set up. It wasn't hard. Mages like Magister Irin tend to think in very magical ways. They'll put ma Follow me. The library's downstairs. Give me just a moment to pick the lock. All right, let's get in and out as quick as we can. I don't sense anything. Maybe the old man was bluffing. Fish biscuits! I warned you, Ember. Magister Irin really didn't want me get. I didn't know the old man had it in him. He had something to target me specifically. What a sneaky old goat. <laughs> Good thing I had you with me. You managed to get. Let me take a look. Hmm. Mm -mm. No, not that. That would be bad. What about this? Oh, here it is. It's Amahan is Exis, not Gahan Amexis is. <laughs> Good thing I checked. See? That's personal growth right there. Two different arcane glyphs. They do entirely different things when written and pronounced aloud. The second one is what I need for my counter spell. Now all that's left is to get to the old ritual circle and cast this. I'll need your help again. The counter spell should set everything right in Tordrayak. Things will be just as Magister Irin left them, and I won't have to face his furrowed brow. I'll need the old ritual circle is a place of power, and I'm going to need all the help I can get. 
I plan to draw on the magic there to help strengthen my counter spell. Magister Aaron told me about it. This probably isn't how he wanted to implement the lesson. Maybe? Old tales and myths always start from some truth at some point in time. The moats around here seem to be affected by more than my spell, is all I'm saying. I always expect the worst. I find it helpful. If luck is with us, maybe just some irritated wildlife we can deal with as we've done before. Or some of the boulder. The ritual circle is just up the hill. I'll meet you there. We need to set the ritual flames. There's three around the site. Light the three ritual flames here. I'll get the ones on the altar. Under these conditions, I was turned into a guar. A guar! Of course, Huldressa. I promise to address the situation. See that you do. Huldressa sold me out, didn't she? Let me speak to your associate first, Ember. So, you were witness to the events here. And as I understand it, you had a hand in bringing them to an end. For that, I thank you. And if you'll indulge me, I do have a few lingering questions. What in the world? <laughs> I don't know what I expected, leaving her to her own devices here, even temporarily. Ember and Trouble are old friends. I can still feel the repercussions of this spell gone uh, awry, as you say. Uh, do I have you to thank for rectifying it? I see. As trying as she can be, she truly is a talented mage. She can be impatient, but given her natural inclination to magic, it's understandable. I always knew I was perhaps not the best teacher for her. 
I took her in because I knew I couldn't leave someone as skilled and impulsive as her to her own devices. But I have neither the time nor aptitude to teach her properly. It's my own failing. Speak to her, would you? I must collect my thoughts. <laughs> Don't worry. Ember isn't in any trouble. While I am not pleased about my traumatized cook, I, I must concede that everything is back in order and the consequences of Ember's magic weren't dire. Still, I must consider what to do now. I don't mean to give the impression that Ember is incapable of learning. That's not the case. She's a bright mage, one of the brightest I've ever seen. Everything I've taught her, she's taken to like flame to parchment. But therein lies the problem. Well, just like a flame, Ember wants to devour everything around her. Her appetite for knowledge is ceaseless. Uh, that's good quality in a mage, but not necessarily one I'm equipped to deal with. By my own admission, I'm methodical, cautious, by the books. Exactly right. Ember needs someone who can keep up with her. Someone who thrusts themselves headlong into adventure so that she may temper herself and her magic beside them. Perhaps when I was younger, I could have been that for her, but not now. Hey, you. Let's talk while Magister Irin collects his thoughts. I thought Magister Eren would be as mad as a wet dragon, but he looks amused. It's probably because he's wanted to turn Holdressa into a guar at some point. He just won't admit it. And the fact that we fixed it all before he got here helped. Well, I've been thinking. I'm grateful to Magister Eren, but sitting and reading about magic has little appeal to me. This whole thing just proved to me that I'm too restless here. I want to do magic, not just study it. Go on adventures, see things. I think it's time. I've been given good training here, but I still have a lot to learn. For me, the best teachers are curiosity and experience. I learn best by doing, so I need to get out in the world and continue my training. Ember the Sorcerer. <laughs> I like the sound of that. But that can come later. First, take this. It's not much, but you deserve it. I think we made a good team today. If you ever need a... Magister Eren, I'm grateful for your teachings and your patience. But I think it's time for me to move on. I should go pack my things. And say goodbye to Holdressa. <laughs> Not a chance.
do something exciting. All right, see where we gotta go next. All right, I think. Oh yeah, we've got to go in, in the um. In the town.
My dock hands are watching for your cargo, Lady Arabelle. They know it's precious. There was a storm off the coast. Perhaps it delayed the ships. Forgive me if I do the job you hired me for, Lord Bacaro. You there. Might we speak? I have a keen eye for talent, my dear, and you're practically oozing it from your paws. I am Lady Arabelle DeVoe. If you're looking for gainful employment, I have a proposition for you that pays exceedingly well. Care to hear more? Oh, nothing tawdry, my dear. We'll be too busy for romantic shenanigans before long, I expect. Some precious cargo was supposed to sail in on the morning tide, but it never arrived. I need someone not known around the island to be my eyes and ears. While tales of my exploits credit me with all sorts of talents, I can't be in more than one place at a time. I could use a fresh face to mingle with the locals. Determine if anyone knows anything about my three missing ships and their cargo. Lord Bakaro's conference can't proceed without that cargo. Here's what I need you to do. Check the inn, the lighthouse, and the lock of Bane Shallows. See if anyone knows or saw anything. Then meet me outside the north gate to compare notes. Certainly. Since you're new to High Isle, I understand you may not be as familiar with the local area as I am. What do you wish to know? Gonfalon Head Lighthouse, blessed by Kinnereth herself, stands atop the hill just west of town. It offers an excellent vantage from which to watch the nearby waters. Perhaps the lighthouse keeper saw something that will help. Possibly. When ships fail to make port, it's only natural to wonder if they were damaged or blown off course by a storm. The lighthouse keeper has a perfect view of the approach to Gonfalon Bay. If my ships were out there, she might have seen them. The currents of Lockerbane are strong. Flotsam from the open sea often washes up along the shores of the waterway. Some of High Isle's poorer folk comb the beach looking for salvage. Let's hope they haven't found any today. The ancient Anchor Inn sits just up the street near the city gate. It's one of the more popular places on the island. In my experience, inns are an excellent location to pick up rumors. Wherever you think is best, my dear, but do get started soon. My intuition tells me that some sort of mischief is afoot, and my intuition is rarely wrong. The gentleman beside me, Lord Bacaro Valoris, leads the Society of the Steadfast. They're a philanthropic fellowship that provides aid to people who have suffered in the Three Banners War. The Society is sponsoring a conference here on the island. That's a well-guarded secret, my dear. Perhaps after you've proven yourself, I can bring you in on the details. For the moment, Knowing any more won't help us find out what happened to my missing ships. That's not an option I care to contemplate. Not while there's still a chance to find them. Forgive me for being evasive, but it's a rather sensitive topic to discuss in public. We've already faced adversity, and the conference has yet to begin. Ah, a visitor, or another... Yes, a sudden squall of unusual intensity. It died out just as quickly as it arose. I noticed it off to the northeast. Dark clouds filled that part of the horizon. 
Perhaps our ships were delayed by the shifting winds, or decided to wait out the storm. I'm afraid that's privileged information. Suffice it to say, the cargo coming in on those ships is vital to the conference the Society of the Steadfast is sponsoring. Of course I do, but I learned long ago to have patience when it comes to such matters. Not every setback is a conspiracy, and not every delay is the act of a Daedric cult. Though, if you do learn anything of imminent concern, please let us know. High Isle is the primary island in the Sisters Archipelago. Technically, we're a Breton holding, but we try to behave as a neutral port. People from all over Tamriel come to experience the natural beauty of the island. Well, nobles mostly. Parts of it. But we have a rich history, and the same sorts of dangers you'd experience on the mainland. Bandits, pirates, wild beasts. And you might want to avoid our sister island, Aminos. It's a harsh jungle that has long served as a prison. Mostly political prisoners from the Empire at first. Later, the rival nobles, pirates, murderers. The worst of the worst. Today, it also includes war criminals and certain prisoners of war. Amino's station is friendly enough, but the jungle is deadly. I'm a philanthropist. I started the Society of the Steadfast to give relief to those caught up in the suffering caused by the Three Banners War. We establish healing tents for the wounded, distribute food and water, and provide uh, whatever aid we can. Ah, as Lady Arabelle said, that's not something we're ready to talk about. Not until the cargo from the missing ships is secured. After that, I'll answer any questions you have. I'll even proclaim the purpose of the conference from the town square. I'm a dock master, not a bloody mage. What does the lady expect me to do if her ships never made it to the docks in the first place? Should I be? Lady Arabelle suspects some sort of foul play, but not on my docks. Not a chance. Gonfalon Bay is safe. Everyone knows that. Trouble comes from the mainland, not from here. Of course, the waters to the northeast can be treacherous. The closer you get to Aminos, the more unpredictable the currents become. And storms constantly barrage the coast, not to mention sea elf pirates. A good captain knows these things. None of that would keep Lady Arabelle's ships from reaching port. Like I said, storms close to Aminos aren't that unusual. I doubt the ships we're waiting for would have sailed that far north. Just in case, I sent people to look for signs of wreckage in the shallows. I really don't expect them to find any, though. Once someone tried to...
I took this job.
House Dufort seeks a... Ah, seeking a commission with the Honorable House Dufort? We need able hands to rid the sisters of a menace we've endured for too long. We are prosecuting a war against the Dreadsail Pirate Fleet, and the Admiral ordered me to gather as many capable fighters as I can muster for a landing party. Need about a dozen, all told. You can use the dinghy there to ferry your party to the flotilla's flagship, the Loft Empyrean. Report to Purser Ashcroft, and she'll see that you're accounted for. Just that it's incredibly dangerous. The Dread Sails are some of the nastiest pirates we've ever seen, and their pillaging has gotten out of control in recent months. And it's no wonder the Admiral is out for blood. to enchant something with that? Can I watch? for finding those. Oh! Oh, a traveler. I thought those vile knights had returned. Forgive me. I must continue praying for the return of our idol. Without it, this tower's light will remain dark. This lighthouse is special. It's blessed by Kinnereth, the god of winds and sea. No fire serves as a beacon for nearby ships, but the divine light of Kinnereth herself. Without the sacred idol, the light cannot shine. Alas, 
the idol was stolen. Knights in unmarked livery broke in and stole the Kinnereth idol. I watched the scoundrels flee to the west with the sacred edifice. Perhaps, dare I ask, would you be willing to recover the idol for the lighthouse so I may restore the beacon? They may wear the garb of knights, but the ruffians who assaulted me carry themselves like robbers and outlaws. Whoever they are, they're dangerous. Be wary of them, and may the wind guide you. Bless you, traveler. Please understand, to my order, this is more than just a lighthouse. This beacon spreads Kinnereth's blessing across both land and sea, but only with the idol in place, so it must be returned. <laughs> right. Marvelous, is it not? This is actually the second beacon to stand atop Gonfalon Head. It dates back to the early first century. When I assumed my duties here, the tower was in poor repair. Dangerous, even. When Duchess Alea Dufort assumed her father's duties a few years ago, she ordered a complete renovation of the structure. I'm sure she wanted to protect trade in Gonfalon Bay, but she spared no expense in rebuilding the lighthouse. Peek inside.
Come on, I'm so curious. Remain. I shall return to my order and report all that has happened until we meet again.
questions still remain. I shall return to my order and report all that has happened. Until we meet again. trembles someone has disturbed the balance it's going to blow i'll try to contain it but i can't do it alone Questions still remain. I shall return to my order and report all that has happened until we meet again.
you return, and with the idol. Place it here, and I shall call forth its light. Mother Kinnereth, this traveler has set right the desecration of this holy place. Return to us your blessing, and let your light shine over the land and sea. I cannot thank you enough. With the idol returned and the light restored, we can ensure the safe passage of many a weary traveler. Is there any way a priest of humble means could repay you? A blessing, perhaps? Hmm. Shortly after the lighthouse was pillaged, I spied three ships on the horizon. Then suddenly, the clouds darkened, and a terrible storm began to blow in. I lost sight of the ships after that. Perhaps they were simply blown off course? Aminos is notorious for its storms, but Kinnereth generally blesses High Isle with fair weather. I wonder, the way the storm swept in seemed unnatural, and it happened so soon after Kinnereth's idol was removed. The idol has little value outside the lighthouse. Its light does not shine in any other location. My order believes Kinnereth's light blesses High Isle. Why steal the idol unless the knight's meant to revoke her protection? Troubling thought indeed. Watching you harvest this...
You can use the dinghy. Just that it's incredible. Make an excellent minion operate, kill you! Uh, getting there slowly. You don't look like a salvager. Come to join up with those so-called knights who've been hanging around, did you? Bah! I'd rather go hungry than swear myself to the likes of them. Haven't seen anything sail by in the lock recently, and no new wreckage washed up today. But I've been keeping my head down. Those robber knights have been chasing off salvagers who won't promise to help them. They were recruiting, or at least offering the chance to earn a reward. They wanted people ready to haul in whatever came ashore. Several salvagers went with them. I wouldn't, though. What I find is mine. To a cave just down the beach. But I'd avoid it if I were you. Old Charbel nearly lost his head snooping around there. I don't know if they found what they were looking for, but I think they left a few nights behind to watch the shallows.
Let's just, just see where we've got to go. I got a bit sidetracked with all messages. Um, oh, we've got to go back, back to town. Okay. In that case, then I might as well. Hey, that you see them around. No, sometimes it's quicker by using your mount, but other times it's not. Just have to see what... what's what at the time. And go from there. Nights are robbing people. Hail, friend. Have you heard about a rogue band that calls itself the Ascendant Order? I thought they were only active on the mainland, but they're here on High Isle. Rabble rousers and troublemakers, if you ask me. And now I hear they're looting caravans outside the city walls. Not specifically, but I saw some fancy pants nobles giving the Dockmaster grief. Missing ships could mean anything. Storms, pirates, poor winds, worthless navigators. Try Sergeant Dane over there. He's with the Sisters' Guard and knows a lot. He roamed upon the sea. It's upon, upon the strand. Long today, oh. that they never met until he came home to stay he built their house between hills and sea he built it along Gonfalon Bay along Gonfalon Bay oh how long she waits upon upon the strand oh how long maybe I could work in the kitchen Claim her hand, oh, how long she waits. Oh. 
Ragnarok and Steve in their wake. I'm off duty, newcomer. Got a complaint? Take it to one of the other guards. We police High Isle. Ships that haven't arrived yet aren't our problem. Besides, we've got our hands full with these so-called Ascendant Order Knights. They're stirring up trouble all across the island. Just that they're little more than well-armed bandits. They've been recruiting the poor to bolster their numbers. Now they're robbing caravans while claiming they fight for justice. <laughs> Honest folk don't hide their faces behind helmets and masks. They're malcontents. They go on about how the high and mighty misuse their power by squabbling over the ruby throne. It started out small enough. Defying authority, inciting riots, petty sabotage. But now they're hurting people. Something else, newcomer? I'd like to get back to my drink. Ordinary bandits the Sisters Guard can handle. But when we send enough guards to meet a company of Ascendant Order Ravagers, these faceless knights just melt away. And if we don't send enough guards, then our guards don't come back. Spirans head to old Adir, hailing from near and far. To joust and ride and sing with pride, with hope they'll be a star. Maybe I can work the kitchen instead. We lie so close at hand. Let's take a count and raise a glass to our man. Pockets only get you. So close at hand, let's take a count and raise a glass to our merry band. Don't be the... 
rockets only. Don't be the explorer. Don't be the explorer who has to. Pockets only. Don't be the explorer who has to return to camp because you didn't have enough bags ready. Next time I'm in the field, I think I'll welcome to our hall the fight. Right. Ha. There's a good question. Well, then let me be the first. A fascinating application of the technique. Welcome. Yes, of always we're book hunters. We provide training in you. Excellent. You are too. Just a, a bit more, and I'll have a spell matrix worthy of the greatest mage rights on our TAM. I'm Levis Calvis of the Fighters Guild. Good. You found my field office. I thought I'd keep an eye on the lock while awaiting your report. My own investigations have turned up little about our missing ships. Tell me, did you uncover anything useful? Did the lighthouse keeper spot them? Darken the beacon? The locals revere that light. Who would dare offend Kinrith in such a way? Something is indeed wrong here. At least our missing ships reach these waters, but this storm worries me. Tell me more about the rogue knights.
The Ascendant Order? Here? I heard rumors of knights troubling folk outside of town, but I had no idea they were the culprits. I've had dealings with the Order before. This doesn't bode well. Tell me, did you learn anything at the Shallows? It seems the Ascendant Order knew the ships would be wrecked, and they helped make sure by extinguishing the Lighthouse Beacon. They knew my cargo was coming to High Isle. This means the Fighters Guild and Mages Guild delegates are in danger, too. Ah, you caught that, did you? My missing cargo is more delegates for the conference. Perhaps the most important ones. But I need you to check on the Guild delegates right now. They went to visit a druid named Ravana. Her hut lies to the west. The Ascendant Order models itself after other knightly orders. But they're nothing but terrorists. They claim to stand against those who would subjugate the nations of Tamriel under Imperial rule. But I suspect they plan to take power for themselves. They are well funded and have a strong presence on the mainland. They proclaim a powerful message about greedy rulers and costly wars. But it's mostly rhetoric. Not that the common folks see that. Our conference makes a tempting target, I'm sure. Valesi of the Mages Guild is a dear friend. We shared a few adventures when she was starting out, and I called upon her when I needed help with the conference. She enchanted the invitation. I only met Guild General Quentin when he arrived. He seems to have a good head on his shoulders, but the war has cost him dearly. He lost his wife in a raid. I understand why the Fighters Guild chose to send him to the conference. Her name is Ravana. She's something of a local apothecary. She uses her skill with herbs and healing to help the folk of High Isle. With the conference delayed, Valesia was curious about druidic magic, so off she went. Quentin decided to tag along. Valesia of the Mages Guild is a dear friend. We shared a few adventures when she was starting out, and I called upon her when I needed help with the conference. She enchanted the invitation medallions the delegates require to attend the conference. I only met Guild General Quentin when he arrived. He seems to have a good head on his shoulders, but the war has cost him dearly. He lost his wife in a raid. I understand why the Fighters Guild chose to send him to the conference. Her name is Ravana. She's something of a local apothecary. She uses her skill with herbs and healing to help the folk of High Isle. With the conference delayed, Valesia was curious about druidic magic, so off she went. Quentin decided to tag along. The Ascendant Order models itself after other knightly orders, but they're nothing but terrorists. They claim to stand against those who would subjugate the nations of Tamriel under Imperial rule, but I suspect they plan to take power for themselves. They are well funded and have a strong presence on the mainland. They proclaim a powerful message about greedy rulers and costly wars, but it's mostly rhetoric. Not that the common folks see that. Our conference... All right, where we got to go now? We got to go there. Right.
before they touch me with their... Don't get any of them on me! You... You saved me. Those crabs were going to... touch my legs with their disgusting shells. Not another one! No! Not another crab! I can't believe you drank our entire stock. Me? Where's your proof? Just because I hip woke up in a pile of bottles doesn't mean I'm guilty. Uh, uh, those could have been gotten there in any number of ways. Hello there. Say, you look like the type who could go traipsing around dangerous areas in search of rare ingredients. Could I interest you in a job? There's coin in it for you, and the knowledge that you'd be bringing joy. My partner and I are purveyors and creators of fine drinks. Hilgrim does more drinking than creating, however, which got us into our current trouble. We were on the cusp of making a groundbreaking new spirit, then Hilgrim drank our entire supply. We need three ingredients to make another batch, and Hilgrim's in no state to get them himself. The drink requires flesh flies, a sister's passion flower, and a druid's bane mushroom. If I marked the locations on your map, would you gather them for us? Here. Spots should have the ingredients I mentioned. If you can gather them and bring them back, I can whip up a drink that's sure to make all the mainlanders empty out their pockets. So long as I can keep Hilgrim away from it. Hilgrim and I are always experimenting with different flavors and ingredients, not all of them are successful, of course, but this combination in particular was exceedingly delicious. We stumbled upon something revel- We've only just met, lovely stranger. I can't go giving you all our- hmm. The flesh fly wings add a bit of bitterness and body to the drink. The sister's passion flower gives it a lovely floral aftertaste and a lovely color. And that particular type of mushroom infuses a great deal of sweetness and heaviness to the mix.
Well, you wouldn't know it by looking at him right now, but he's actually a very charming, intelligent, and passionate man. We fell in love over a bottle of Alto wine years ago, and discovered we both had a gift for concocting delicious libations. He makes me want to tear my hair out most days. But yes, we are. As much as he vexes me, he makes me laugh too. And he has incredible ideas. It was his notion to use the flesh flies to add a hint of bitterness to the drink. <sighs> Just brilliant. Yes, this place brings in rich nobles by the bucketful. Or at least it used to before those delegates came around. But there are still enough gadabouts to take advantage of. People who will pay almost anything for a taste of something. Good luck. You're my hero. Good eye. I didn't even see that runestone at first. Greetings, traveler. Ah, yes. The curious mage and the stern warrior. They stopped by when I mentioned that rogue knights had been making the countryside dangerous. They decided to investigate. I told them where I'd last seen the knights and they set out at once. A clearing to the southwest. I'll mark the spot on your map. I saw a band of the knights gathering there the last time I went out to gather herbs. 
They forced me to retreat without them. I w oh, you'll find druids throughout the Sisters' archipelago. Not too many on the mainland, though. Long ago, we druids left Tamriel and its troubles behind us. But here, our ancient ways survived. Our forebears among the Bretons believed civilization should live alongside nature, not tame it. In the early years of the Dereni hegemony, they struggled for the soul of High Rock. They lost. Driven into exile, the Druids left to seek a place where they could live according to their beliefs. Their wanderings brought them to the Sisters. The followers of the Weird remained behind. They walked a different path than the Druids. We follow the old ways. Some call us priests of Ifray, but that is only part of our truth. We are children of the land, like the we- Our people, the Breton people, went astray when they forgot the ways of nature. Stone walls and empty titles separate folk from the true way. We- Circles are fellowships. Yes, the weird are Breton witches. They follow teachings and practices that share a common ancestry. We have more in common than we have.
Magister Irin never let me watch him do this. It's so interesting. Over here, I... I could use some help. You're the one Lady Arabelle spoke to at the docks, aren't you? You volunteered to help investigate the ships that failed to reach port. It's good to see a friendly face. Guild General Quentin accompanied me to visit Drua Gravana. When she told us about rogue knights in the area, Quentin was eager to investigate. It was the Ascendant Order. They overpowered Quentin and knocked me senseless. They captured Quentin. I don't think so. The Ascendant Order was definitely trying to take us alive. That's the only reason I had the opportunity to throw up a Shroud spell and avoid being captured myself. Did you come out here to find us? And Ravana told you where to find us. Good. Now, we must rescue Quentin. I may have a way to find where the Ascendant Order took him, but we should get to safety first. Meet me back at... No. We came upon them just as they were finishing an attack on a caravan. But... I assume they recognized us or decided our station warranted capture rather than elimination. But you came with a warning, didn't you? What did you find? Wrecked the ships? 
How in oblivion could they coordinate such a thing? Clearly, the Ascendant Order is aware of the plans for Lord Bakaro's conference. They're here in force and causing more trouble than we anticipated. If they recognized us as delegates, there's all sorts of ways they could hold that over the conference. If they just assume we're rich nobles, ransom is always an option. But who can really say what those helmeted bastards are thinking? Lady Arabelle and I had dealt with them on the mainland. The Order tried to stop the conference by striking at delegates before they even left Tamriel. We stopped them, but not before the previous guild delegate was killed. Then they appointed me. I came to talk to Ravana about arcane and related topics, and Quentin decided to tag along. When Ravana told us about rogue knights, I feared it might be the Ascendant Order. Quentin wanted to investigate. Turned out I was right. No. We came upon them just as they were finishing an attack on a caravan. But I assume they recognize... Doing something with magic -y? I understand, Valesia. Do what you must. I to owe find you a friend. debt of gratitude for coming to my aid. It seems once again that Lady Arabelle chose well. Now to see if I can find Guild General Quentin, and by extension, the rogue knights who carried him away. I enchanted the invitation medallions that each delegate carries, so I can trace my own magic to locate Quentin. 
Now let me see. They moved north and east, across the lock. I see a chapel, crypts, maybe abandoned? No question. Quentin is there. Lady Arabelle asked me to try as soon as we realized the ships were late. I wasn't able to make a connection with those medallions. Maybe they were too far away, or some other magic interfered with my scrying, but I wasn't able to detect anything. No, we need to return to Lady Arabelle and share this information. Then we can mount a rescue for Guild General Quentin. I'll meet you at Lady Arabelle's little pavilion, what she calls... Need something? That sounds like a Bane Chapel, but only one medallion is there. Hmm. Valesia apprised me of the situation. I believe I know the place where she thinks they're holding Quentin. It must be the crypts below a Bane Chapel on the northern shore of the lock. Will you accompany us on this rescue mission, my dear? Smashing. This will be like that time I pulled General Gaultier out of a Reach stronghold during the border raids of 566. Now that was an adventure. Anyway, it's too bad Valesia couldn't scry the locations of the other missing delegates. I suppose you've earned the truth, and you certainly deserve my complete confidence. The three ships carried High King Emric, Queen Irene, and Prince Ernskar, son of Jorin the Scald King. I dare say I've misplaced the leaders of Tamriel. I said you deserve the truth. Lord Bakaro invited the Alliance leaders here for peace talks. He hopes to end the Three Banners' War. If we find Quentin with the Ascendant Order, we may find our missing royals. Meet me at the chapel north of the Loch.
We'll rendezvous at a Bane Chapel on the north side of the lock. I've already sent an operative ahead to scout the area. Be prepared to defend yourself. The Ascendant Order won't give up Guild General Quentin without a fight. Whatever the situation, I won't abandon Quentin to his fate. Oh, that's good. Let me write that down. Besides, we have to risk it. Both to save Quentin and to see if we can learn anything about the missing Alliance leaders. We know their medallions aren't there, but they could have lost them at sea. Regardless, if the Ascendant Order uses the chapel as a hideout, we may learn something about their plans, or a clue as to where to search for the Alliance leaders, perhaps. Not a student of politics, my dear. I understand completely. They're the leaders of the Alliance is vying for the Ruby Throne. Well, Irene and Emric lead two of the Alliances, Ernskar is the son of Yorin, the Scald King, who leads the third. You poor dear. You must pay more attention to current events. Queen Irene leads the Old Mary Dominion, High King Emmerich, the Daggerfall Covenant, and Prince Ernskar represents the Ebonheart Pact, the opponents in the aptly named Three Banners War. It's complicated. The Ruby Throne sits vacant, and the Tamrielic Empire lacks an emperor. None of the alliances can stomach the idea that one of the others might win the throne. It's a wonder Bokoro and I got them to agree to these peace talks. Whatever the situation, I won't abandon Quentin to his fate. Oh, that's good. Let me write that down. Besides, we have to risk it, both to save Quentin and to see if we can learn anything about the missing Alliance leaders.
Magister Irin never let me watch him do this. It's so interesting. in there like that. There. It's open. Got any more locks you need picked? <laughs> How about you, Valesia? Now's not the time, Jakan. Let's see what awaits us down in the crypts. I can't pinpoint the exact location. He could be anywhere. I'll scout ahead. Maybe someone should watch the door in case anyone follows us. I'll keep... Quentin is our priority. But keep your eyes open. Who knows what the Ascendant Order left lying about. Ascendant Order propaganda. They are not as benevolent as they want you to think. Pay no attention. No sign of Quentin is there. We should keep going. The Ascendant Order has the captains of our missing ships, but where are the Alliance ships? First things first, clear the path to the South Crypt. We must rescue the captains and hope they're happy.
Lady Arabelle. Kaleen, Zaji, Zuzo. Thank the Divines you're all right. But where are the delegates? Apologies, my lady. We lost our charges. Zaji is not all right. Not to spoil the reunion. We were about to get company. Jakar. to safety, Jakarn. We'll find Quentin. The knights took Quentin away not long ago. I think they're questioning him now. Then we must hurry. Come, my friend. Jakarn and Valencia. It's Quentin. Let's listen and try to figure out what's going on. A new age of peace is upon us. An age of free peoples standing together, not kneeling to distant thrones. This is not your war, General. What say you? The war took everything from me. I... I am with you. How can I help? The Order is trying to recruit Quentin? We have to put a stop to this.
is your chance, Quinton. Stop these fools and strike a blow for the people. I'm sorry if they hear now. But I have made it. We're just under new order! We can't allow the general to stop us. I'm sorry it came to that, but well thought, my friend. Let's speak outside. I didn't expect Guild General Quentin to turn on us, and I certainly didn't desire his death. It seems sympathy for the Ascendant Order is more widespread than I knew. We must be cautious, particularly with whom we choose to trust going forward. Do I expect it? No. But that doesn't mean we should let our guard down. This venture wasn't a complete failure, though. We rescued the captains of our missing ships. We need to find out what happened at sea and what befell the Alliance leaders. To Mandrake Manor, my home in Gonfalon Bay. I'll mark it on your map. Jacan Valesi and I have been using my townhouse as a base of operations. I'm confident that it is as safe from the Ascended Order as any other location we might choose. Oh, the name comes from a book I'm rather fond of. I bought the manor to serve as my home in retirement, and I keep a few mementos of my career there. Meet me there, my dear, and we'll see what our rescue captains have to say about all this. Ah, there you are. Go inside and talk to Captain Kaleen. Find out what happened at sea. I need a moment to collect my thoughts. 